Hey guys, welcome back to H1Z1 Early Access as we go over a few more elements that will help you be more prepared in this post-apocalyptic world. The basics of staying alive is being a proficient blackberry gatherer as this is going to be your main staple of both food and hydration. You'll find patches of blackberries throughout the map. Hit your E key to collect them and you can even use crouch for those hard to access bushes. In the last update, stats were adjusted. However, it's still a fairly consistent process to maintain your stats. As you scavenge, it's important that you utilize the discovery feature as this will help you unlock your recipes. When you come across an item of interest, activate your inventory by pressing I, go to the discovery tab and place the items inside the discovery fields and press discover. What you've been able to discover will be added to your recipe list. Also be mindful of what server you play on as you can lose what recipes you have learned. If you press the M key, you'll see a cursor on your screen. Move the cursor to your stat indicator right click and you can reposition your stats wherever you would like. The tab key comes in handy not only to help you locate things via proximity, but also for passing along items to other players. It's not a guarantee when scavenging, but it does come in handy when passing along items to other players when it's difficult to see. Gathering wood from trees will help you acquire discoverable items for recipes that will help you better equip your character. In particular, you can build your first bow along with arrows or use a wood stick for personal defense. Arrows can be retrieved after use or you can simply make new ones. Once you've acquired the bow recipe and materials, you'll have an effective hunting as well as personal defense ranged weapon. The mechanics can be a little tricky to learn, but with some time, you'll become more proficient. If you do kill wildlife, you'll still need a cutting tool to collect the meat. In the meantime, as you're getting started, you'll most likely be sustaining yourself on blackberries. Blackberries are incredibly useful because it serves a twofold benefit by providing you with both hydration and energy. As you progress through the game, you'll also want to take advantage of the natural resources. You can fill your empty bottles in a lake by right-clicking the bottle and selecting Use. Keep in mind the water will be dirty, and although it can hydrate you, it will affect your health. Being able to create a campfire is going to provide you with a host of game-changing capabilities. For starters, a fire acts as a container from which you can make discoveries and add to your recipes. You'll want to ensure that you've made your discoveries in container mode before proceeding to apply known recipes. You'll know you're utilizing the campfire properly as you'll see the inspect container in the top left of your inventory screen with the word campfire in the selected field. You can drag dirty water into the inspect container area and wait while the water is purified. The water will then change from dirty to purified, letting you know the purification is complete. When it comes to cooking venison, you'll simply drag the meat into the inspect container campfire selection. Once the meat is cooked, it will change from venison to deer steak. It may take a little time to acquire all the materials you'll need to start a proper campfire. However, as you play, you'll continue to make discoveries that will allow you several campfire creation options. As I mentioned earlier, once you've mastered campfire creation, this will open up a host of game-changing possibilities that will make your experience in the game a lot more productive, as well as providing you and your friends with a greater survivability. A guildmate was kind enough to provide me with a player-made compass to make natural navigation observations to include the fact that the sun and moon rise in the east and sets in the west. In a future H1Z1 preparation video, I'll go over other aspects of the game that will improve the quality of your survivability as well as familiarize you with player base creation. To ensure that you're up to date on future videos, be sure you're subscribed and you can follow me on both Twitter and Twitch as I plan on showing more additional live game play. If you found this video helpful and entertaining, consider leaving a like and share this on your favorite social media sites. Thanks for watching everyone. Be sure you're subscribed for future H1Z1 news.